because Singapore's got a huge Eurasian look, mm-hmm. um, a, a huge market for the Eurasian look. So it's the mix of Asians and mm-hmm. Australian and, and European. So it's it's a weird combination. So, um, yeah, I started, I, I traveled over there and I remember walking into the apartment for the very first time. And Is it like fashion TV? Is it like model flat <laughs> on fashion TV? You walk in and it's just models everywhere? Models everywhere, but complete opposite, definitely not as glamorous. So I walked into my apartment and I was staying in a three-bedroom apartment that was housing nine girls. Wow. So three girls to a room. How many bathrooms? Uh, two two in mine. Still, yeah. two bathrooms for nine women. Yeah, pretty oh, pretty tragic. Well, yeah, it was, it was tough. But that wasn't the hard part. It was arriving without any... Knowledge of travel or culture. Never been overseas or, before. Yeah, you lived and in Townsville and Brisbane. That's right. So I've got there, no hot water. My bed had been slept in uh, from the last previous model. The sheets sh- hadn't been washed. Sheets hadn't been cleaned. I've come from a home where mum's got a compulsive, you know, cleaning thing going on, and everything's got to be spotless. Um, so that was a bit different for me. Cockroaches running under my bed. Um, no food in the fridge. No fresh water. It was just a shock and I remember lying in bed that night crying my eyes out and wanting to just come home. I hadn't even got a SIM card yet. I couldn't even call mum, you know. So that was a huge shock and it took took me a while to kind of get used to it. And then as I went on, I used to just be so grateful for everything I got. 